After taking jabs at Kevin Hart on the Club Shawai podcast a few days ago, Cat Williams is coming for him, and he's coming for him hard. Cat recently revealed that he is partnering with Kevin's ex-wife, Teray, and things are about to get real. When it comes to Kevin, it's terrible, and she is finally having her moment to talk since we all know how Kevin did her dirty and got this. It's not going to be just one episode when she spills the beans. To go from messy to chaotic, T and calls it a day because she and Kat are going on tour and will be revealing everything that Kevin has been up to. Kevin should put his PR staff on speed dial because this is about to get real. I promise what Kevin Hart is going through. Since Tasha K, his former assistant, accused him of cheating on his current wife, Ano Hart, during an interview, things have been difficult for him for the past two weeks or so. The initial scandal was the first baby, that is, the one in Vegas. As for the other scandals, there's another one at the workplace. Though Kevin took her to court, saying that Tasha had attempted to extort him $250,000 in exchange for killing the interview, there was a lot of big talk, and he was still leaving the scene with visible stains all over the sea at the Heartbeat studio. She was also pregnant again, correct with her second B, and he was still leaving stated that he had never cheated, but many people didn't believe him because they knew that Kevin was having a rough time in the city. Tasha K was the least of his problems because he didn't know what was going to happen to him because Cat Williams went on the Club Shay podcast and totally destroyed Kevin. This occasion was no different from the rest of the time he spent dumping tea on truly egregious practices in Hollywood. As he had much to say, and we were more than willing to listen. For those of you who don't know, Kevin and Kat have been having problems for a long time because, as Kat has mentioned, in the most recent episode of Kat Layden to Kevin again, he had a lot to say. He began by exposing Kevin as having sold his soul for money on a few occasions, pointing out how Kevin willfully allows himself to be humiliated by dressing in dresses, applying makeup, acting girlish, and all that kind of thing. Claiming that none of Kevin's gigs have ever been sold out or even had a lengthy line of people anxious to watch him perform, accusing Kevin of being a Hollywood plant and claiming that he is not as successful as he loves to pretend to be. After 15 years in Hollywood, no one in the industry can recall ever attending a... When Kevin Hart arrived, he already had his deals. Have we heard of a comic who came to Los Angeles and in his first year had his own sitcom on network television and his own movie called? There was a line for him to ever have a standing ovation at any comedy club. We've never heard of Soul Plane, the person he was leading, or since that person, what do you think a plant is? I won't lie. It's surprising how quickly Kevin rose to prominence in the industry, given that he was spared the hardships that most celebrities face. Cat didn't stop there, though, as he continued by revealing that the majority of the movies Kevin did were ones he had passed over because he didn't like them. He claimed that the movies went unnoticed by Kevin before they got their big break, which kind of makes you wonder what is going on behind the scenes. Counter to his moral convictions, and any time he attempted to persuade the producers to change a scene in the script that he wasn't comfortable with, they would take the script and send it to Kevin Hart since they knew that Kevin lacked the same moral compass as Kat did. For a period of five years, every film that Kevin Hart completed was watching a movie that had been sitting on my desk. All I had said was, can we take some of this step and fetch it out? so that I can do it like it doesn't need to be overtly homosexual. It doesn't need to be so explicit in order to be humorous, and I was saying that. They said, oh, no problem, and then they were going to give it to this other man who did it exactly as it was, acting as though I'm a bad person for sticking to my standards, but in all honesty, it's interesting, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. You would understand that part where Kevin told you, he wasn't going to wear any dress until they offered it to him. And then how he had been lowering his moral standards since the beginning, like the time he finally gave in and wore a dress even after he swore that he was never going to wear dresses. 
Although he donned it and stated, I made my own decision. Duh, you didn't make it prior to their suggestion, did you? It's okay now. Initially, Kevin said he wasn't going to address the matter since it was a bunch of bullshit. You have to get over your return. And, you know, I'm encouraging you to tune in to the podcast to unwind after your hectic week. Yes, good luck. Good luck getting me to talk about that horse. However, he tried to clap back at the cat because he was getting the last laugh. Hey, Kev, you didn't say anything to Cat Williams throughout his three-hour interview yesterday. You didn't even set a shot clock on this page. Do you entertain the circus or do you just watch it? It seems like he has more work to do, clown, who belonged in the circus. Be concerned about the fact that Cat will not be letting go anytime soon. He recently revealed that he is dating Kevin's ex-wife, Tire Hart, and I have a feeling that whatever they say on tour will be disastrous for Kevin. For those who are unaware, Tere and Kevin had a very messy breakup and divorce. Even though Kevin and Ano have denied the rumors, people don't really believe them for obvious reasons. What made it worse was that the majority of Kevin's jokes and skits were written by T in 2011. Because Kevin had been cheating on her for the majority of their marriage, there were even rumors that he cheated on her with his current wife, Anna. She was with him when he was starting his career worked with him for years, and authored his ghost writer routines without receiving credit. After he later cheated on her and dumped her, it makes sense that she paired up with Kat, given their offensive nature. I must admit that I find the timing of this tour intriguing. Kat exposed Kevin a few days ago, and now he's going on tour with t -Ray. The rumors on the streets are that t is really planning to reveal some crazy dirt on Kevin during the tour. The journey they say that this is all part of a larger scheme by her and Kat to bring Kevin down permanently by exposing his depraved behavior. They claim to have so much evidence against him that they are holding it close to the vest until the tour because they know it will generate a lot of revenue. Fans of this alliance have commented that she wrote this man's skits while he had nothing to help him develop and that he gave her scraps after cheating on her and showing her no loyalty at all. Reclaim your coin, sister. She desires a reciprocal lick in recognition of his matrimonial union with Aino and the fulfillment of the life that was promised to her. Have and Kevin built his entire career on talking about her and his crack dicta. However, when she starts talking back, things are going to get really messy for Kevin. Please share your thoughts in the comments section below and then watch this next video.